Sarah here. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. Today I am in the 2018 Hyundai Kona. So it is Hyundai's new little crossover. This thing is so cute. I'm in the Ultimate Edition, which is the top of the line package you can get. This one starts at about $27,400. If you get their base model, it's about $19,500, I believe, but the exact number is here with their different models. So there's four different models you can choose from. This gives you all the bells and whistles, everything you can want with all-wheel drive and all of that. So for an extra $8,000, this actually does give you a lot. It's nice. It's comfortable. I'll talk all about that. Let's check out the interior, exterior, all that stuff, and then we can go on the drive. So I have to say, I really love the styling of the Kona. It looks really good. There's really great lines. It's just so nice and pretty. And I mean, it doesn't even look short and stumpy like a lot of its competitors, which is really, really nice. So good job, Hyundai. The only thing I have an issue with is the paneling on the sides. You can't see it on the darker models, but if you look right here on this one, it's not great you can definitely see it it looks a little cheap and chintzy again this is a cheaper car so that's totally fine but i would definitely recommend getting it in a darker color so you don't have that and if you check out the trunk i actually did not get a picture or video of that one for some crazy reason but here's a different one with the seat down you can see there's plenty of room for all these things it's 19.2 cubic feet with the seats up and 45.8 with the seats down Okay, so just looking at the interior of this car, it's pretty basic. I mean, pretty much all Hyundais are the same with cruise control, all of that, and the volume buttons and everything there. We have a bunch of your settings over here, all the basic stuff. You have a nice little cup holder, and we have a screen. I'll turn the car on in just a second so you can see all of that. And of course, we have the seatbelt light, passenger airbag, all that stuff we have a usb cord here two 12 volts which is actually pretty nice if you have like a radar detector and anything else and of course the charging pad there as well two lovely little cup holders a little button to change the drive mode right there and then the lock and lovely size love box again this huge tons of information about this car which takes up about half of it around and you can see the seats they have like a nice little white gray stitching accent in it it's not going to be the most luxurious of them all but it's 30 grand so it's super nice i actually do like the seats they are pretty comfortable you can see the back seat and then a little itty bitty center console nothing crazy in here there's no cords or anything in here which is fine let's turn around and you can see the screen So we have all the notches and stuff here. We have the radio screen up here. Let's drive safely, all of that. Radio, media, you can see navigation, map, all of that. So it's a very basic, easy, simple system you have right here, which is super nice. I personally really do like all of the, all of that, any of your AC and everything here. Okay, new outfit because the footage from the back seat did not save, but I am in the back seat right here you can see I have tons of legroom and I know um, other people who've reviewed it who are like six something they can fit back there multiple people can fit in the back see all that and then you can see too the seat is down we have a little nice cup holder in the center here but there actually is a lot of room stuff is being hauled back here too which is super super nice we have a nice little light and then you can see of course the center and then all the way up to the front of the car real quick though i want to talk about this key so the hyundai has a new little key if you haven't seen it yet this is so nice it's sleek let's start her up shall we 
So it sounds open. Let's, let's get the seatbelt on so it doesn't beep at us. So we have a nice little engine. It's only a 1.6 liter, but it is turbocharged. So you do get a lot of bang for your buck in there. It has about like 175 horsepower. So this is a basic little baby machine just for going around town. If you're looking for a powerful car, this is not it. This is not what you're looking for, but I really do enjoy it. It's really nice. It's really comfortable. You can go over like speed bumps at speed. Like I went over some at like uh, probably 25, but yeah, so let's take her out on the road. So it is an all wheel drive. We have different drive modes. We have sport and we have normal. So between the two, depends what you want to do. I've actually had it in normal for most of the time when I'm like hopping on the highway, I'll pop it in the sport, but normal is more than enough for everything you want to do. So this does average about 27 miles per gallon which does give you a lot for your money. It's about class, well not class average, it's about average for the new cars coming out. So you're not gonna be saving money on gas, but it's not gonna be taking up like tons of gas and money and all of that. This is a really nice, comfortable drive just around town. Like I am really enjoying it. I do like it. For those of you who have seen previous reviews or have heard me talk about like crossovers versus a sedan, I personally enjoy driving sedans a lot more solely because they are just a little bit more fun to drive and that's my thing. I did have a Ford Escape when I was in college. So don't get me wrong, like this whole little, this segment in the car industry is something I do appreciate because it is great for hauling things, hauling children, hauling stuff. We went to Costco and filled the back and we didn't have to put the seats down to build like toilet paper tons of stuff you'll see the picture right there to see kind of what happened it, it is really impressive okay so in talking about this vehicle i do have a couple issues with it again these are more like personal things for me it might um if you are a smaller person trying to get this car this is one that actually is a big deal the back uh tailgate or not tailgate the back thing so the trunk, I can't close it with one hand super easily. Like I have to bring it down and like re-maneuver it around. So it's kind of a two-handed job. So if you are like a mom with a baby or someone who likes to like grab all your stuff and like hold it and then close it, um, this is not the easiest thing. So that's something I would definitely recommend if you are looking at buying this vehicle is trying out before to see if you can close it one-handed. I mean, that's something you should be doing anyway. So fun fact, if you're looking for any cars, making sure you can close the trunk, close doors, do things one-handed just in case you're carrying stuff, you only have one hand. One weird quirky thing I have a lot of times is the air conditioning doesn't the air conditioning doesn't really get me where I want it to go, if that makes sense. Like, I don't like air in my face. Cue weird jokes, make them clean down below. But anyways, I don't really like air in my face, but I like it down below. So this one, it really does let you kind of like move around and get a good amount of air, especially because I do live in Texas and it is hot as heck today. It is 94 degrees so far. It's getting hotter. I think it's gonna be in the hundreds a few times just this week alone. So it gets hot and it's only in June. So it's hot, it hits 100 lots of times. Some years it, I mean, is 100 most of the summer. So having a good solid air conditioning system is really, really important to me let's conclude this what do i think about this vehicle would i buy with my own money honestly i think i might i really really like it it's a good car basically for anyone like if you're a kid this is something i would get my kid like as their first car because it is it's bigger like having a bigger suv is good hyundai's are notoriously safe i don't know the safety ratings I'll put it here but typically Hyundai's are always gonna be really good really safe really reliable so this is a great car like a first car for your kids great for putting around town you can really fit so much in the back like I really like it and it's under a thirty thousand dollars which you can't even say for a lot of cars let alone well now this teeny crossover segment is taking over where you can get a lot more for 30 grand but this is fully loaded has so much luxury in it it's so so nice I love how it looks love everything all of that I would buy it. I would highly recommend you getting it, checking it out. Again, make sure you can do things one-handed since it isn't all automatic, but I, I really like this car. 
so I'm a fan. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. If you have not yet, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. And if you click that little bell icon, it's going to alert you every time I have a new video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter so you'll know also I'll have alerts on there for new videos in case you don't want the YouTube things popping up all the time or anything like that. So I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.